Hello, in today's video we are going to talk about shared modules in Angular. What is a shared module? A shared module in Angular is a module where we put directives, pipes and components and then import just that module wherever we need it in other parts of our app. So uh, here on the left side uh, I have a basic uh, structure which I covered in the previous video so you can go there and take a look at it. Uh, here I will create a shared module. So uh, I'm going to add it by typing this in the terminal ng gm which is a shortcut of uh, ng generate module and uh, call it shared. Okay, enter and now we'll get a shared module here generated on the left side. So this is a shared module. Uh, this is a basic uh, module which has no any routing so this is just a module which will uh, have components so I'll uh, create a folder here and call it components okay so I will put a component into that uh, into that uh, folder here and now we are generating a new component ngg new ngg C, which is a shortcut, shortcut, uh, shortcut of uh, ngg, ng generate component, and we'll put it in the shared folder and uh, into components and name it uh, shared component. And also, uh, I'll add flag export. Okay, and hit enter. And now into this folder here, we have a shared component. So it is basically here, shared component, which is exported here in the, in the shared module. So if we haven't added this uh, export flag here, uh, we wouldn't have this uh, module export, uh, this component exported here. So it won't be able, uh, it won't be shared uh, with other modules where we imported this shared module. So now I'm going to generate a new module called, uh, let's say, uh, NGGM and call it uh, new, new module one. Okay. So we have a new module one here. But uh, what am I going to do is here I'll delete it and I'll generate it here again but uh, with a routing flag. So it will create a routing module as well here as you can see now. And also I will add a new module a component component uh, into this new module one and call it uh, new module one. Then I'll add a flag flat, which means that uh, this uh, component is going to be generated here into the, into the root of this uh, new module one. Okay. This is not generated. I'm generating again. New module. New module one. New module one flat. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we have it here. I'll de delete this one here, and also I will uh, delete from the app module. Okay, here and here. Okay, going back. Here we have a component and we have a routing here and we'll just say that uh, root here path which is nothing is going to component component and new module one component so this is it 
and here in this upbrow thing I'll just add here okay path path let's say new new module is going to load children actually lazy load a module and say import import and source app which is a new module okay and the new module this one and then I'll say done and module as new module okay that's it and now I save it I have to do is ngs to serve this app and then we'll get it into this let it just finish okay now we're going to localhost and when we add the new new module we have it. new module one works and now uh, we are going to add this share module into our new module here so what we have to do is to import shared module here and then automatically all exported components from this shared module will be uh, available for use here in this module so basically we are going to here to add app shared component and it will use that component here okay we see shared components works so that is it basically now uh, i have to show you how you can use uh, uh, you can use any libraries within this shared module and get them uh, get them uh, available to other modules where you import this shared module so uh, here i'll say okay ng add at I'm going to use angular material just for demonstra demonstrating purposes angular slash material material and it will automatically add and import this okay let's see okay this okay so the person okay and Okay, package installed so basically uh, we have here uh, I'm gonna, just a second okay and now uh, I'm going to use a button from here I'm going to import uh, let's say mad button module actually I'll, I'll use it here imports let's see mat mat button module art receive now okay components mm -hmm. so I'll just add mat button module here from angular material and now this mat button is available everywhere so I can say here that I want to have a, a let's say just a mat button actually button which is mat button and we'll call it button and this is a basic button. I'll use uh... oh, I haven't exported. Okay, I, I was about to show you how to use that uh, into the share module, for example. I'll use this share component. 
Okay, and now you see we have a mud button, but we cannot use it here in our component like this. Okay, this is uh, this button is outside shear component and this one is inside the shear component. So as you can see here, this is a style and it uses material design, but this one doesn't. And why is that happening? Because here in the shared module, we just imported this and we want uh, to use it and to make it available to our module here. But as we are using this shared module uh, in this module here, what we have to do is just to export this mat button module. And now we'll get that module available to this uh, new module. So basically, if you have uh, any kind of library or modules imported here into this shared module, and if you don't want it to use them uh, outside this shared module, or you just want to use them into your uh, for your shared components, it's okay, you just have to import it. But if you want to uh, export that module, you have to add it here to exports, so it will be available to all components uh, uh, where the shared module is important. So that's basically it. Thank you for watching the video and I hope this video helped you.